Yo, welcome back. It's still iBrand Daybreak. iBrand Digital is the platform. You've, not, you've definitely not missing, miss out on anything if you're just joining us on the program. We're diving straight into the star corner. What will have interesting interview with superstars who are making waves in their respective field. So today on the show, I'll be having a conversation with an amazing woman and uh, with the chit chat I've been having with her behind the scene, um, there's no doubt that she's indeed a superwoman. So guys, without mm, making much noise, join me as I make a welcome on set with me this morning on iBrand Daybreak, no other than Hethel The Voice. <laughs> <laughs> drum rolls, drum rolls, come on, come on, come on. All right then. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you join me on the show today. Excited to be here. All right now, we, we, we're having this conversation behind the scene and you're just giving me a lot down of who you are as a person. Right. Okay, so I don't want the viewers to miss out of it. So tell us, Ethel, the voice. When I got the name, the first thing that came to my mind, oh, she's a musician. Mm -hmm. But then you were like, oh, chill, bro. <laughs> I do more than that. <laughs> exactly. I do more than that. Yeah. And it made me understand that you are an edutainer. Mm -hmm. Educators on that. Who is an edutainer? Yeah. And what makes Ethel, the voice, an edutainer? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I like, <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you, know, you went Ethel. D voice. So my name is Ethel D voice. Okay. And um, yes, I'm, I am an edutainer. And being an edutainer is simply that I do education and entertainment. Okay. Right? And as the education part of it, basically I do entertainment or I do education with entertainment entertainment, entertainment okay. with education so if i'm entertaining you i'm educating you if i'm educating you i'm entertaining you mm. so that's it mm. right so my brand is basically an entertainment brand okay so i am an entertainer mm. for education i coach okay right i'm a communications coach i help you speak english correctly okay um featuring your diction and elocution drills public speaking development of presentation skills voice over artists who mm. want to get better and you know all of that so yeah and um for entertainment mm. i am a presenter as well amazing <laughs> so she's my colleague <laughs> right yeah. mm. so i'm a presenter both for tv and radio i'm a tv content producer i'm a content creator right i I'm an MC mm. and I'm a convener of an event, mm. which of course is another brand, a sub brand of the FLD voice brand. Mm. It's called Hangouts by EDV, okay. right? Okay. And I started um, stand up comedy last year. Amazing. So, yes, I'm a stand up so comedian. So much in your plate and just you alone. Now, the, the, the big question coming to my head now is how do you strike a balance in all of this? Oh, yes. So the beautiful thing about everything that I do is it's surrounded around my voice, mm. right? The power of your voice. Yes. Yeah, so I talk, I coach, that's my voice. Mm. I MC, I present, that's my voice, right? I, I am a producer, that is my voice. I, whatever it is I do, it's around my voice. Mm. So that is the body, that is what FLD voice is. Yes, okay. right, and there's more. Yeah. So how do I strike a balance? I might be doing a voiceover, and at the same time I'm presenting, okay. and I'm coaching. So there's always it's there's never like a problem, okay? There's never like um, a, a, a distortion or a, an argument or a drag mm. as to the balance that needs to be um, struck mm. around everything that I do. Nothing conflicts each other, mm. right? Mm. So I have I have a hangout coming up soon. Mm. I mean, at the hangout, I'm going to be hosting. No, oh, amazing. Right? Yeah. So that's so you're me. You're bringing the whole of you to bear. Yeah. Amazing. So everything just works together. Okay. Now, I, I really want to understand this now. It said that um, um, no man is an island, mm -hmm. okay? And a jack of all trades is a master of none. Mm. Now, but that's not a complete... Um, okay, make, make it complete, please. Uh, yeah, uh, so I, I think it's uh, the jack of all trades, master of none, uh, but 
let's wear something of all. It's actually positive. Yeah. So something, something, something. Of all. Yeah, of all. It's, it's we'll actually that. positive. <laughs> no, it's a positive quote, but okay. some we cut it short okay. and make it look like it's a negative quote. Okay. But now, it's a very positive okay. quote. Now let, let's bring it back to this conversation now. It still boils down to which would you consider your strength? Is it the education part of you or the entertainment part of you? Ah. Or which would you say you do so fluently, effectively, that if you have to wake, if someone had to wake you up this morning, or when you're deep asleep, I was like, Ethel, do this for me. You can easily do that without struggling. So which cuts out for you the most? Or let me trick the question back another way. Education is one part of it. Entertainment is another part of it. Which did you start up with the first, at first? Is it the education part you discover first? The education part of you first, or the entertainment part of you, or just along the line, you just decide, okay, I can do all of these. As the scripture says, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. So bring us up to speed with all of this. Which is your strength, and how did you come about the education part? And how, at, at what point did you infuse the entertainment part of you into what you do? Okay, so... That's why I'm an entertainer. Everything is my strength. Okay. <laughs> so now Superwoman. <laughs> so if I am if I'm hungry, mm. let me use that as, as an instance, right? If I'm hungry, you could barely get me to do anything focused. Right? Okay. I would barely focus on anything when I am hungry. Okay. Right? Mm. So if you want to know what I can do and what ca I cannot do, mm. meet me when I am hungry. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand? Yeah. Meet me when I'm hungry. Mm. But when I am hungry okay. and I have to sit on a set and present a one hour program, I will forget that I am hungry. Wow. Right? Mm. When I am hungry and I, have to, and I have people in front of me that I have to coach on presenting. Mm on you know talking mm. communication mm. i could do it for another two hours mm. one hour and i would not remember that i have not eaten mm. it's deep down but tell me to come and do something else away from these things mm. when i'm hungry i mm. can't focus okay. as a matter of fact i'm very angry <laughs> yes I'm, I'm i'm not a good person when i'm hungry you don't try to maintain your teeth oh no please <laughs> zero composure <laughs> zero teeth like i lose it all i don't okay. like to be hungry i don't like it for real like mm. i don't like it but imagine when i'm in that state mm. That's the only thing that can... Oh, Ethel, come and quickly run this voice over. Come and let's present this show quickly, quickly, quickly. I will do it on an empty stomach mm. and forget that I haven't eaten. And yeah, that's where the passion comes in. Yeah. You see, so that, that's where the passion fills my body, literally. Mm. You know? And then I, I cannot achieve all of those things. But yeah, so... But, um, but which one did I start first? Yes. As a child, mm. I'm always the one entertaining the family. Wow. Right? Mm. So I have a good laugh, right? As a child, I'm, you know, so I don't know. Then in church, growing up in church, I've always led, right? I'm always a leader. And then I have to teach mm. people. Mm. Either I'm teaching the word of God or so everything happened hand in hand okay so i don't know but i mean the more i i, I led in church the mm. more i i taught mm. in church mm. i realized i love it mm. i just love that i'm impacting people mm. so the bottom line is impact mm. right mm. when i'm when i see that i'm affecting someone's life i can go on and, and on, on and on mm. right mm. yeah so that impact is just what drives me mm. So right. passion, passion, passion is imbued, okay? And then when you have the floor, you have the platform, you just go on and on. Oh, it's a beautiful some, some, opportunity. Some, something inside just keep driving you. And I at that it. point... Yeah. It just recently I stopped talking too much. You have to pay me before I talk. Yes, because yeah. it's um, talk 
real talk that brings it back to it's not cheap. No, it's not. It comes ex expensive. It's not. I don't even advise people anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you monetize everything. Anything you, you want to do with your life. <laughs> no, <Go ahead>. it. <laughs> no, if you say you want to, I'm not saying if you say, uh, I want to jump into the ditch. I'm like, oh, wow. Go Why? What's happening? What? I tried. I said, no, leave me. Let me go. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will tell you. Oh, please. Because these days, to advise <laughs> people, it's <laughs> very, it's, it's expensive. Uh, of course. You know, and I, at the end of the day, you lose something for yourself. Exactly. You don't be asking yourself, who sent mm -hmm. me? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about the, 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 the comedy aspect of you now. You said you yeah. just started that. Yeah. So, how's it been like? How's the ah! acceptance been? And um, you since know? you do the phone kind of talking. Yeah. Don't tell me you go on stage and you talk phone Oh, you cry joking for now. <laughs> In that look at me. That's the point. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I started comedy last year because someone advised me to. Okay. It was not a passion. That's why I'm not <laughs> dreaming. <laughs> so, it's still a part of you that's still nascent. Yeah, it's still, still, it's still yeah. Okay. It's still, but, but the beautiful thing is, someone, you know, the person who advised me was like, I watch you when you MC. Mm. You have an amazing sense of humor. Even when I teach, when I coach people, you probably would have to laugh through the class wow. till the end. Mm. So they felt like, ah, try stand up comedy now. Okay. Do you get now? Stand up comedy is different because it's constructive. Yes. You have to construct your comedy. You have to write your. I didn't know that they write these comedy scripts. I didn't know. Really? Yeah, I didn't know. So we actually thought that these guys just go on Come stage up and say, no, 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 no. Do you know that's that's uh that's uh that's one um I don't know I don't know it was Kevin Hart was receiving an award. I, I don't I don't have all the information, right? Okay. Do you know that all the top comedians that came on that stage were looking at the teleprompter? Wow. You will not know. But wait a minute. I'm just trying to imagine now how you you try to make someone laugh yeah. and feel so comfortable, relaxed by rocking a joke from a teleprompter. I mean, it's scripted. The jokes are scripted. Wow. They write that everything, just like as a presenter, you will script certain mm. for guide, mm. right? Mm. That's how you script as well. Do we do that here in Nigeria? Do you think most of our comedians, oh my those, God. those 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 who, who, who crack their jokes in pidgin English, do you think they do Everything that? Everything is written. Wow. I mean, no, I can say I have colleagues in the comedy industry, of course. right? Yeah. That's where I learned that you will write. And if I go on stage to perform, right, mm. and I come out, they'll ask me if I wrote if I wrote my and I didn't write. Mm. I go up mm. and just. It's in you. Yeah, you I just it bring it out. Yeah. And then they'll tell me, no, write your, write your script. Then you rehearse. Mm. Right? You have to rehearse. Rehearse to the mirror. Rehearse to your friends. Rehearse, rehearse. If you make them laugh, then you come on stage. So that's why you have comedy clubs where mm. you go and you test materials. Mm. Right? So that started last year. And yes, my first, my first performance wasn't... Um, Everybody commended the fact that I was so bold. I mean, I'm very bold. I teach confidence, mm. so I should have it in excess. Okay. As they say. I gave, I came and I did my thing, and then I knew, oh my God, we need to find a way. And then you're asking me if I, I, I perform with, with yeah. good English. Yes. Yes, I do. And I was, uh, I, what, what was it like? That's the point. That's actually the brand I want to build in my company. But I do pigeon as well. Oh, really? Yes, yes, yes. You do? Yes, I do. Can you drop one or two? <laughs> one or two, what? <laughs> Can you play? <laughs> one or two pigeons? You want? Oh my <laughs> god. I, I don't think you have to pigeon English more than me, though. I don't want to contest that with you. Trust me. Okay. Okay. But you want to try? Yeah. Put this up. I, I your side. <laughs> No, 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 drop Everybody the number, drop the number, now. it's not me, it's two of me, now let's talk about your event now, <laughs> I'm quite having a, 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 an amazing, amazing time here time with you, Mary. let's talk about your event coming up on Sunday, yeah. give us more insight into it, and um, what is the event all about, how can our viewers who intend to attend the event get the ticket or uh, the gift or whatever, just give us more information about oh, it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I like to talk about things like this, what yeah. I'm passionate about. So my event, this is like the seventh edition, mm. right? 
I've had um, six editions in the past, okay. and the last was in 2021. Okay. Right? Uh, so this is like a comeback. Okay. It's been a while. Why did you break been. in the first place? Oh, I had some um, personal issues. Um, Evolvement. I mean, okay. How do I put it? That okay. yeah. That I ha it just required me taking a break. Okay, great. Yeah, I took a general break, general like in the entertainment industry. Oh, so yeah. good to have you back. Oh, thank you. Welcome back. I, it's not like I was <laughs> off the scene yeah, completely, but I wasn't mm, into it as you as, should. Yeah, yeah. So I took a break, and um, yes, I'm back. So my event as well is back. Um, it's uh, um, the drill with FLD voice. Okay. Right. We've had um, the drill fruit picnic. We've had the drill pizza hangouts. We've had the drill barbecue hangouts. We've had the drill um, breakfast hangout in Port Harcourt. We've had the drill just chills. And we had the drill um, meat and chills. And okay. now we are having the drill cocktail party with SLD voice. Mm -hmm. Now, my events are core intentional networking events. Okay. Right? These are events where you don't just come to have fun, laugh. You have all of that. But the intentionality is on you meeting people, expanding your world, and um, promoting your brand and business. So if you know you're proud of what you do, or you're a person of quality and standard, then you come and meet your, your kind, mm, right? Mm. It's a place where you know you want to meet people. You want to get to know what someone does. Mm. You want to get to know, you know, possible collaborations are birthed in the... You know, in, in the process, you know, you could have someone who is interested in what you do and wants to invest. Mm. So that's what my events are about. Amazing. It's in an intentional core network. Everybody is involved. Okay. Would you want to drop um, the details like the venue, the timing? Yeah. And if there's going to be more like a, a gate fee or, or what? Yes, there you? is. For okay. this cocktail party that is coming up, it's 15,000 Naira. Covers access and cocktail, right? And then you're going to be having so much fun, like I said, connecting with people. If you want to get your ticket, you have to either send me a DM okay. on Instagram at hangouts underscore by underscore EDV. Hangouts underscore by underscore EDV. Or you can call me. I can call my number. Oh. They'll, they'll get that on uh, your, your Instagram um, page. All right. Yeah. So, so. you want to drop, quickly drop the venue of the event? The venue is um, Rhodes BBQ, Rhodes BBQ Smokehouse, just at um, Ikeja Alausa. All right, then. So this is the much time will permit us to take, but trust me, I really had an amazing time talking with too. you. And I do hope that we'll have you some other time again. This okay. time around, we want to talk about the entertainment part of you okay. while we leave the education to just rest. That's fine. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> and this time, I want to go down Pigeon English with you. Oh, wow. Yeah, I want to I'm go up down. for it. All right. I want to say a big <laughs> thank you to you, to Ethel D. Voice, for being a part of the conversation today. She is my star corner, my celebrity guest on the show today. Heather, once again, thank you for your time with me thank on the show. Thank you so much So you can follow me. her on our social media platform again. Yes, my personal handle is at FLD Voice. E-T-H-E-L-D Voice. E-T-H-E-L-D Voice. And then, of course, check out Hangouts underscore by underscore EDV. All right, then. You have it. We'll take a break, and when we return, Chizova will be joining me. I'll be discussing quite an am another amazing topic. You don't want to miss out. We'll be back in a moment. Just stay with us.